My name is Kalea Wasserman. Uh, I play in a band called Pepper. I am, gosh, 20 years into the music business. Um, I moved from Kailua Kona in uh, 1999 to the mainland, which is what we call America, and been playing music ever since. And it's really been an incredible journey, an incredible experience. I've been able to have the first summer off in 20 years, <laughs> which, yeah, that just blows me away. So just to know that we've been able to tour every summer since 2001, so 19 years, give or take a year. And to be able to, to relax in one place for this long, to be able to go to my home studio and record every day, be able to have the technology where I'm able to work with other people remotely while recording music, this is probably my favorite time as far as, as to be in one place for this long, just because of that. My first memory of ukulele. Uh, so growing up in Kailua Kona in elementary school, <laughs> Hulualua Elementary School, there is a teacher, her name was Miss Cantor. Miss Cantor in fourth grade brought in 30 ukuleles for the class. It was the first time I was able to play an instrument and actually kind of string it together where it sounds good. I, as a youth, I was always around instruments because of my parents, but to make a guitar or a piano sound good was very difficult for me. Um, so I was lucky enough to have a, an ukulele uh, teacher and music program in my school, which I'm so, so excited about to get established every. Um, that was the first time I picked up a ukulele, and it just opened the door to so many different things. Let's hear about your background with surfing, too. Excellent. So, <clears throat> of course, you know, growing up on the Big Island, surrounded by water, you're going to be in it. I mean, you're, you're going to spend time diving, fishing, paddling, surfing, um, especially when you have a father who's, who's extremely... Um, just focus on the ocean. My dad's a true waterman. And uh, it was just one of those things where it's like, you know, it's, it's just what you did. It just lent itself. So growing up in Kona, we were able to jump into the ocean at any time, um, go surf, go surf with your friends. You're gonna see everyone down at the beach. And it is um, to this day, I mean, I just surfed earlier this morning here in Oceanside where I live now. And it is so incredible how the ocean can come completely change anything that's going on um, on land. It's, a, it's so meditative, it's so fun, and just to be able to move in the water, and right now in the summer, again, remember, it's like my first summer in 20 years off. The water is so warm, it's blue, it's clear, we've got swell, and uh, surfing will always be you know, with me. Luckily too, which is so funny, being in a touring band that tours internationally, when touring was a thing, uh, we, uh, we were able to kind of like link certain places. So with the, we were going to Japan, Portugal, Australia, Spain. Like if we were able to surf in any one of these places, it was just like a, a complete bonus. I'm really looking forward to taking some more surf trips too. And the last one was much, much too long ago. That was Samoa. And um, I, I'm so excited about uh, more travel as soon as, you know, things, things open up a little different. Difference between songwriting, the ook and the guitar. You know, there isn't much for me. An ukulele is, it's, it's almost kind of like a, and I hate to say it this way, but I am. I pick it up and I don't think. I pick it up, I let it go as far as whatever's gonna come. Now, another thing too is I really don't know chords too well on the ukulele, and to tell you the truth, I don't know chords really on guitar. I just know where my fingers are supposed to go, and I have fun with that, and I, and I let it unravel in that kind of sense. But in the morning, I'll grab a ukulele while the coffee is made, being made in the French press, and I will just grab it and I'll just strum 
without any anticipation of making anything happen, but for the sheer joy of, of just hearing it and feeling it against my chest. So when you grab an ukulele, right? So on a guitar, like it's usually on the leg right here. But when you hold the ukulele and you're playing around the house, you feel the vibration next to your heart, your chakra, your heart center. And that is when I can kind of get into like this, this vibrational meditation early in the morning, before there's sirens outside, before, before the traffic gets loud. It's just that nice early morning quietness. And I'm allowed to just strum a little bit and kind of wake up in that sense, that vibrational wake up. It's, it's one thing about how I approach the two instruments differently. Bro, honestly, to tell you the truth, um, right now, like, like seriously, my favorite song, Ukulele, is playing Brand New Day. Because uh, like I said, uh, that whole story about waking up in the morning while my coffee is in the French press and I'm holding the ukulele against my heart and the vibration is happening. And then when you say the words and it matches the vibration, now all of a sudden you're dealing with, with true change, right? So. Nothing like a brand new day. Say some of yesterday. When I thought that I lost it, but wait, I got it. Tomorrow's on the way. Another chance to find it. If I can just make it through the night. Nothing like a brand new day. Oh, we oh, 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 yeah, that's one of my favorite. And also, too, like, like total transparency. It's like two chords. Yes, there is a track called Playing My Ook. No joke. It was recorded um, with my 11, at the time, uh, this is like a, a year ago, I think he's 12 now, uh, 11 year old nephew. And we wrote and recorded the song called Playing My Ook, uh, which we're gonna be releasing really soon here. And it was such a beautiful experience to know that, that my 11 year old nephew, who was just starting to show interest in music and singing, we were able to, to create this. And I actually had him in my home studio. Check this out, you guys are gonna love this. I had him in my home studio and the headphones were just so massive on him that he would have to hold and he would sing. He would sing so sweet and so soft, but on pitch, which is more than I can say for a lot of people sometimes. Uh, and he could sing on pitch. But what I did was I had to stack in the studio his vocal tracks. So I had him like, 30 tracks of him singing the same thing, condensed them, mixed them, allowing it to be like one vocal delivery, but it came out stunning. So playing my ook, you haven't heard it yet, but you will. And then uh, now that you know a little bit of the backstory of how it was captured, and this, this beautiful, beautiful little soul, it's his very first recording, and now he's hooked. Now he's like in choir. Now he's like doing other recordings. That was like only a year ago. So it's really nice to see that kind of uh, growth happen so quickly. Why do I think ukulele has become so popular? Hmm. Personally for me, like an ukulele will go anywhere that I need it to go. It's right there. It's, it doesn't take a lot. For, for me to travel anywhere in the world with the ukulele. And not only that, if, if I mean, you, you, you all have seen people play ukulele. It just kind of makes you smile. It's the jumping fleet, you know? It just makes you smile. It's like, wow, okay. And maybe because right now, people, people want something that's so user-friendly, so beautiful to make a composition on and really, you know, have fun. Play us your favorite song. Hmm. Man, that's, that's hard right now. 
Let's see. Let's just see what happens here. Real quick. Let's just try this out. I heard a rumor that I like to use. We saw the footage on my easy news. So I guess I cannot most be true. I'm still addicted to my breakfast food. Not everything's what it seems. Like all this ready, baby, I got dreams. Want some cash and some flashy things. I'm not double old bands with some platinum rings. But what I want is not what I need. I know the difference, that's why I Succeed. Now be aware, don't let the fever trap you running down from the past on the avenue. Are you people getting ready? Yeah. And I want you to know. Sing it. It's easy. Baby, it's easy. Easy living better when it's easy. Now, baby, it's easy. Hold on when it's easy. Baby, it's easy. He's a little better when it's easy. Baby, it's easy. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, how about that? Just, just a little snippet of my favorite song today. Am I offering ukulele lessons? Yes, actually. There's a platform uh, I mentioned earlier that uh, me and my wife with Rebel and Muse have been teaching all called Lively. Lively also has, um, they, they, they have so many cool things there as far as lessons go but you'll be able to go to Lively and, um, and find me giving ukulele lessons. And the whole thing is what I want to do is I want to, uh, I want to break down pepper songs for the ukulele. So the, the, the real ukulele chords transpose from guitar and, and be able to sit with you and teach you um, the, the, the new ukulele version of the pepper song. And there's going to be like some, you know, strategic pepper songs listed just because some of them, um, some of them could take quite a while. This is only going to be a 30 minute class. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. So that's where you can find a virtual experience as far as uh, ukulele. All right. So I got Wipeout here and um, there's a swell right behind me. I got to say like, Kala, honestly, I, I, I appreciate you just making ukuleles. First of all, I appreciate your, your vision on getting these into all kinds of schools. I'm so excited to know that you've made these ukuleles. It's like, man, it's like an endless summer vibe. You know, like it's just sick. It just reminds me like, after this ukulele came out, I may actually have to buy a Volkswagen bus and build it out so I can make it a surf wagon so I can have three to four boards living in there at all times while I have this in there as well, hanging up like this. I really do love them. Um, I took this one down to the beach. I'll probably say like what, three, four days ago. Yeah. Me and Melanie went down to the beach. So we're just hanging out and I was in the ocean. Uh, I went for a swim, the waves weren't really that good. So I just went for a swim and then I looked back and Melanie is on the beach on the towel, sitting down, and she's playing. And I was, I looked back and I was so just stoked on life at that moment. I'm in the ocean, I get to see my babe playing a ukulele on the beach. And it was kind of like one of those empty beach days because summer's pretty much over here in Oceanside. It was just a, a, a moment of pure, gratitude and I'm, I'm so stoked so the surf series i'm so impressed call it good job working that one out yeah absolutely and like like we uh, like we discussed earlier right ukuleles are just so portable and they're, they're so readily available to go in fact so you know the truth i think they bring us along. and it's always somewhere in the tour bus if it's not in the tour bus it's in the bay if it's not in the bay, it's in the green room. If it's not in the green room, it's on stage. Ukuleles, just, they're just everywhere for us. They have them. And we've had some great ukuleles back in the day too, worked out with some other companies. Um, and now it brings us to 2020, where we get to, to work with Kala and 
My favorite thing I got to say about Paula is, is company Paula is so proactive on getting this instrument so well known, so well known. Like they're so proactive in just letting you know that this instrument exists. Their business is awesome. And that, that really, it pulls me into alignment with the company because the vision that I have with ukuleles is to put these into schools, put these in the hands of kids. Because if you've ever done a C on a guitar, it kind of looks like this. Right, so look at, that. look at that. Look at that mess. There's a whole bunch of fingers in there. And then for ukulele, it's that. <laughs> like that, come on, it like simplifies everything. So I'm really, really happy to work with such a proactive company right now that we're gonna be able to teach kids really easily how to use this instrument and how to have fun with it. So um, I've had an amazing time with you guys. Thank you for being here and uh, I really, really am so grateful. Paula, thank you so much um, for letting me hold an instrument to my chest, feel the vibration, and have just an incredible experience with music. And uh, for all of you guys out there, uh, if you have any other questions or you want to spend some more ukulele time, go to lively.com, go to kaleolive.com, go to my Instagram, which is a digital gratitude journal, and go check out Paula. And alohas, take care. Thank you guys so much.